Hi everybody, this is Melissa from Rapid Resizer, and this week we're going to look at some of the platforms that you can build a website on for selling your artwork. The three that we'll be looking at are Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify. So we'll begin with building a free website on Wix for selling your art. When you go to the Wix page, you can see you can sign in at the top. So create an account. And then we'll give you the option to create your first site. So Wix has a tool called ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence, and it will build your website pretty much for you based on some of these questions. So it asks what kind of website you would like to build, and you would choose an art site. So we'll try letting Wix ADI build the site, choose artist for what type of site we want to create. And there are some other options here, we'll just go with artist. Then it asks you what you would like to do with the site. So you want to sell online, create a blog, get subscribers, and then type in the name of your business. And so here it gives a couple options for the templates for the website. If you mouse over it, you'll see a little description, but um, basically you can see that the ADI has made a site for us. And so this box shows you a lot of the different instructions. It will help you with every step of the way of making a website. So the ADI has made a website and it's added in some of its own um, stylistic features. So instead of just saying Rapid Resizer Art, it says enter the world of Rapid Resizer Art. I don't really need it to say that, so I'm just going to go over and change that. Wix has a lot of free images and so it uses its own images based on what you have said your website will be based on. You can click over to their free images, you can click on art to see specifically the art images. And you can also use the search function at the top. I'm going to type in watercolor because that is the type of site I'm making today. And you can see there are a lot of watercolor images. So you can use a mix of your own photographs and also the free images. I've uploaded some of the Rapid Resizer artwork to the section that says my images. So I'll change the image on the home page to one of our own images. And below that, when you click on the store, that's where you would be putting all of the things you're selling. I'm going to change the photo beside the bio. And you can see it already has a name and a blurb in there. You can change or keep it, whatever you like from that. So you can just fill in your address to go with this map at the bottom and basically your website is finished. Choose a domain to publish your site on so you can see that it says wix.com and you can just hit publish if you want the free site. You can also look at the pricing if you would like to upgrade your site. Squarespace was originally a website that for artists to put their portfolio on and so Squarespace has very elegant, classy templates. With Wix you can drag and drop elements wherever you like. Once you finish building your website with a specific template, you can't change it, you're locked into that. So if you want to change templates, you would have to load all of the content into your website again. With Squarespace, you can't just drag and drop whatever you like anywhere. You have to use the elements that Squarespace has set up for you. If you would like to change the template, you can just change it any time with a click and it will rearrange all the information and you can do that whenever you like. So these are the templates. These are the art templates. You can see they're very modern looking. A lot of that has to do with the photographs that have been uploaded to these sites. Of course, taking pictures with a lot of light is key to selling your art on a website. So you create an account on Squarespace and I'm going to use this template. It's like a gallery on the front, so all of these pictures are uploaded already, and if you click on any of them, it will show up on its own page with a blurb. I'll change the name of the site. In this part of the site, we can change the words and the photos. So now I've uploaded the sunflower again, change the name to sunflower, and then I would just continue to do that for the rest of the gallery with Rapid Resizer artwork. One difference with Squarespace is you could have to go to a different area called the style editor to change things like color, font type, font size, 
fine tuning design on the website. Squarespace is a bit more expensive and then they have e-commerce plans which are comparable to Shopify prices. So it all depends if you're just building a little website to sell a few things or a big website to sell a lot of things. So on Shopify, it says ways to sell, you can see that there's online store, eBay, Amazon. Again, you have 14 days to try it out. And as you can see, the pricing is quite a lot higher than Wix and around the same as Squarespace. And so you can look at their free themes. And so you would build your blog, your pages, choose apps for customizing your site, and again, hire the help you need. So if you would like a Shopify store and want to spend time doing your art instead of learning how to build a Shopify site, just hire someone. However, Shopify and Squarespace and Wix have great support, lots of tutorial videos on their sites and lots of tutorial videos online. And so if you want to build a website to sell your art online, you can definitely do it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you feel inspired to sell your arts and crafts online. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.